All right, folks, so I'm having a pretty bad Monday, and you, you want to know how bad this Monday has gotten before I show you the main point of the video. So today, I have to wait an additional five minutes for the Q13 due to this annoying construction project over here right by Osnum. It, it's a disaster. You know, they had traffic backed up for a long period of time this morning. You know, and I, I was telling the driver on the Q13 this morning, it's like, it's not your fault, you know. And he's like, they should really be doing this overnight because he told me his supers at Casey Stangle are complaining about this. I can't blame the supers over at Casey Stangle. They have to be the ones complaining to... New York City Department of Transportation, they're losing a lot of time and a lot of customers on the bus. And I'm just gonna say this right now, I had my first resident fall on me this year, today. Mm -hmm. Now remember, I had two residents who fell on me, well, not literally fall on me, but like fall to the floor on me last year when I first came back. And then for the remainder of the fall, the remainder of the winter, didn't happen. It's like summer fever gets to my residence. I don't know how. And this is a resident who I know very well. And obviously because of HIPAA, I'm not gonna say who it is. And obviously again, you know the rule, no cameras allowed, makes sense. Residents have right to privacy. They're protected by federal law. And to make it worse, it's now raining on me. You know what? I don't care. I got a hat on. I really don't care. You think I care? And I'm being rained on to beat this inflation? And it even gets worse. I get off the Q13 this morning, and guess what? I see a homeless person sleeping right in front of Amnesia Bank on Northern and Bell this morning, right around the corner from the 111. So, right by a police precinct. That's how bad this day has gotten for me, folks. It's just, it's just a nightmare. And I'm only gonna have a hectic afternoon to deal with by the time I post this video. And I'm just glad that Osdom has really fast Wi-Fi because if they didn't, then I'd be screwed. And as I'm passing by signs for Chasla Funds and for tomorrow's primary, it's ugh. So I'm gonna go into McDonald's, but that's how bad my day has been. At least the good news is I've only spent what? Three hours so far today. I'm only spending a total of five bucks for today, counting the French fries, counting the, you know, soda I'm about to get. What have I only spent three hours on? What, my red velvet cookies at 7-Eleven? I have to go to the other one. Oh. Well, I don't know what that was about. But I just saw a truck squeak its brakes. FedEx truck. You can't make the stuff up, folks. But in any regard. Two other dollars spent on chips at the lifetime. Subway around the corner. They raised the price to 175 for the Doritos. And, and the door is still not working again. The other door that lets me into McDonald's. So, yeah, again, a bad example of how bad this Monday has gotten. And you're lucky I know how to beat this inflation. You are lucky that McDonald's is only charging two bucks for a hamburger if I really want one. I'm lucky enough that for an empanada, we have the Colombian place right around the corner from Osdom. You know, I'm done here, all right? I need to get inside McDonald's and get my food. So uh, let's go to earlier this morning and I'm gonna show you how bad the wait was for the Q13 bus this morning. Okay, so I'm gonna do a brief video here again at Francis and Northern. Here's a thumbnail for today showing you how bad the traffic has gotten once again due to this road work. So I think I know the real reason why we are having this problem and I think I figured it out. So let's uh, get 
get past the library. So here's the problem that I really do not understand here. All right? I think we found the culprit. I think we found it. Yeah. Look. We got construction work. At this time of the day, I mean really... I think I see my bus. No, that's a nice bus. Okay. But yeah, I mean look at this. Really? This church has to do road work at this time of the day when it could be done overnight. I mean, I'm lucky enough today, the traffic was so bad this morning that I was able to cross Francis Lewis Boulevard and the other cars were actually considerate enough to let me go through on the eastbound side because they know they weren't going to get through anyway. Right around here. So, it's really that bad. I mean, you got traffic backed up to at least 200 Second Street. Let's show you what's down there. Yeah, I mean, it's that bad. It's that bad, folks. I mean, this is what we got to go through. And again, we have a DOT commissioner that just refuses to, again, encourage overnight construction work. So, I mean, this is the problem you get. So, westbound, ooh, let's wait for the truck to be provided. So here's the problem. Eastbound, you got one lane closed, which that means now everybody has to go to the middle of the lane, right? That's where everybody has to go. And the problem is we have our media, who again, is constantly ignoring us, and, you know, the folks over at New York One can laugh at us all they want, but this is what we have to deal with in Queens. All right, this is the nightmare that normally, this time of the day, 10 o'clock in the morning, you think, okay, not that many people are on the road. No, you got Manhattan-like gridlock congestion because of this. And I know Midtown better than anybody else does. That's how bad this traffic is today. And you think, oh, we'll just use the LIE to avoid this. You know, our traffic reporters should be telling us what's going on, but no, they're, they're clueless. They don't know what's going on on a busy intersection like Northern Boulevard and Francis Lewis. So this is the example of what you get when you don't do overnight road work. Again, we have to call out our DOT commissioner because he's really full of it for allowing this to happen. All right, you got two private construction trucks coming down here. I'm waiting for the Q13 bus right now and you know, it's, it's a problem. And you know, not enough people speak out against this. That people just sit in their cars and just take it, you know? And the, that's the real shameful thing. So here comes my bus. So I'm gonna wrap up this quick video because I really do have to run errands this morning. And you know, now my bus can barely get, oh, now he's not even in service anyway. So lovely. This is gonna further delay the Q13 even more right now. This is gonna further delay the Q13 even more right now. So I'm probably gonna have to get off at the bus stop before Francis Lewis. That's how bad this congestion is today. So I'm gonna have to get off at the last stop before Francis Lewis and just walk around the corner to get back to Osmond. Because, you know, this nightmare, you know, I wish these guys would be out of here in two weeks. Because you got school starting up in two weeks and, you know, what if this is here right after Labor Day? And all of a sudden now, you got a problem where kids are going back to school. The road has to be cleared of this nightmare. And, you know, these guys should have been here a month earlier. But no, 
let's do it in August and let's do this two to three weeks before school starts. Oh, and not to mention, next week, classes start at Queensboro Community College. Yeah, so let's make everything worse for everyone. So I'm done talking. Let these construction guys ruin, uh, ruin what is normally a clear road at this time of the day. And, you know, I'm, I'm done. I ran it last week. I think I've done a pretty lengthy rant today. And you know what? I'm done here. All right. So, folks, just be observant. And, and I'm going to say is if you can, just take the LIE. Take the LIE if you can and just try to avoid this. Because you're much better off hitting the brakes on the LIE. Or maybe even take Union Term. That would be my next alternative. So that's it. The Q13 is going to show up hopefully at any moment and I don't want to miss my bus.